hyperemia versus congestion. Hyperemia and congestion both involve an increased volume of blood in a tissue, but they differ in their underlying mechanisms. The primary difference between congestion and hyperemia lies in the direction of blood flow. Hyperemia is an increase in blood flow to a tissue. Congestion is a decrease in venous outflow from a tissue. In simpler terms, hyperemia is characterized by an excess of blood entering a tissue. While congestion is characterized by a buildup of blood within a tissue due to impaired drainage. Let's take a look at their differences in detail. Number 1. Mechanism. Hyperemia is an active process where blood flow increases to a tissue, often due to dilation of arterioles, such as during exercise or inflammation. Congestion, on the other hand, is a passive process where blood accumulates in a tissue due to impaired outflow, often due to venous obstruction or heart failure. That's why it is also known as passive hyperemia. Number 2. Blood flow. Hyperemia shows increased blood flow to the tissues due to dilation of arterioles and capillaries. Congestion involves a buildup of blood within the tissue due to poor outflow. So the new blood flow to this tissue is decreased due to buildup of blood in tissue. Number 3. Cause. Hyperemia occurs when there is an increase in blood flow to a tissue due to increased metabolic demand, such as during exercise or digestion. The body is actively sending more blood to meet the needs of the tissue. This happens when blood is unable to drain properly from the tissue, causing it to accumulate. It's often a result of venous obstruction or heart failure. Number 4. Appearance. In hyperemia, the affected tissue is often redder than normal due to increased oxygenated blood. In congestion, affected tissue can cause a bluish or darker red appearance, due to increased deoxygenated blood buildup, along with swelling and potential tissue damage. Number 5. Consequences. Hyperemia is generally not harmful and less severe. Congestion is often associated with more severe consequences due to the impaired venous drainage. Number 6. Examples. Hyperemia occurs in following conditions. Exercise and inflammation. Congestion occurs in following conditions. Heart failure, deep vein thrombosis, liver congestion in conditions like right-sided heart failure. In essence, hyperemia is an active process of increased blood flow, while congestion is a passive process of blood pooling due to impaired outflow.